Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. And how sick is that, by the way, the fact that they're hunting together? Oh, I made you mad. That's got to be a jackal. Yeah, a black-backed jackal. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. I mean, it was, it was him or us, right? That's cool, though. Still discovering new things after all this time. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. No, no, no. I don't want to upset you. I'm sorry. No, please. Do not want to tangle with you. Here's a crazy story for you guys. When I was over in Kruger National Park, there was one of these absolutely incredible animals with a baby. Not sure if it was born with a, uh, with an egg or not, but... When it was with its baby near to where we were, we tried to keep a distance as to not stress the animal out. But obviously they know their surroundings and stuff like that. So we were passing through the area. We turned the engine off and stuff. Is that... <laughs> it's... Okay, that's not right. What? <laughs> What's going on there? There you go. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Okay, that was a really cool shot. I thought that was a little bit wit. Wait, since when do these things hunt in twos now? I mean, to take one of those buffaloes down, that might be the case, but... Yeah, let's just keep it a bit of a distance from them. But like I was saying, when I was in uh, Kruger National Park, we kind of stumbled into a rhino mother and her baby, but we try not to stress it out. But even though we were quite a distance away and we were using like, the binoculars and stuff to be able to see her and what was going on, it was basically around like a watering hole. She got so mad. Like you would imagine. Like, I'm not blaming the animal or anything, but just the, just the stomping was enough to freak me out. She was stomping, and then the breath that came out of her, it was it was more like a warning sign. You know, like you would get from an animal, like it was just making like a deep bellow sound as if to say, stay back. This is your one and only warning that you're going to get. And, oh, you felt it in your chest, and she was so far away. It just gives you a sense of the power of those animals, and they're so so cool like i can't imagine with the size of a rhino how much more powerful an elephant is i can't i'm, I'm trying to fathom it in my brain but like based on that because that was like a real life thing that i, I experienced that i just i do, if you come across an angry elephant i don't know if there's much that you can do like yeah i think it's over for you i think just curl up in a ball and hope it's quick <laughs> but welcome back guys i know this is a bit of a weird intro the thing that i've been doing it's just going around exploring. I was trying to work out what I was going to do with the termite mounds. And the only thing I can really think of is the, uh, you know, the Natal grass. The, uh, the, the grass that we get the sticks from that we use for the honey as well. I was thinking of maybe trying that. But that's not what I want to do today. Today is all about the clan. So we're going to go to the top of the settlement. We're going to get the clan together and we're going to move out in force. We're actually going to go across the savannah together. So I'm going to make sure everybody's got a stick. A lot of you guys have said, just make sure the stick is in the right hand so they can fight. And I believe we should have all the evolutionary points for like the group defense already. It's just that I haven't really seen it yet. So that's what makes the most sense. All right, I'm going to try and scale this. I'll see you guys in a hot minute. Okay, there's only a few of them there. Let's get the rest of these guys. Come on. Everybody over this way. Who are we missing? Is it you at the back? You two. Come on. You on the island over there? Yeah, okay, right, over this way. There should be like a berry bush over here. I've not really got any weapons on me right now. I don't think we're going too far away, so let's just go over to this. And I think once you look at the food, grab, and then everybody do this, okay? Eat. Come on. Grab yourself some of the berries. Yeah, they're doing it. So you can actually physically tell them to do that. I think I might have been doing that by accident then. Because I definitely didn't mimic them. Maybe from time to time when they're just hungry enough, they will grab it. 
There's actually not a lot of food here. This there's one of the red uh, red flower trees here, our plants here. Let's see if we can get them to eat a whole bunch of this as well. They'll get that buff as well. So grab one of these. All right, everyone, and eat. There we go. And I guess if they're not immediately round this, they'll go to an area where there is another one and just do the same thing, right? Yeah, look, that one's going over there. Wait, let me follow you, see if you actually do that. The fact that they do this, though, where they wander off, it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because they'll just find food in the immediate area. They're not all just going to blow through one plant and just basically go hungry then. They'll all find different areas of food. And some of them are not doing so great either. Like, look at that. It might be a sleep thing. It could be water. We don't know yet, but I'm going to try and keep everyone, keep everyone going. Go get some food, guys. Have your fill. Grub out. Eat as much as you need. We're all still together, though. And that kind of shows the distance we are from everyone. If you see the actual thing in the bottom right, it shows like a bit more of a spread. That's because some of them are over there. Not everybody's close together, I guess. All right, that's good. I like that. All right, I'm going to mess around with this a little bit. I want to see if they will do this. So let me pick up a stick and then order everybody to do that. Yeah, these guys are not doing so good. I think I need to find them some more food. I think that's the biggest problem right now. Once everybody's got... Oh, they will pick up off the trees as well. Yes. All right, let's wait for these two. It should be the, the last ones, right? I've got a feeling if we do go out today, <laughs> we might lose a few of our members. <laughs> I mean, it's something that I've wanted to do for a minute. So, and I need to understand how this works because of what I wanted to get down. Okay, they grabbed that off the tree. So, let me switch hands. Order that. Oh, that's so good. And then alter. And... Right, everybody do that. No way. Oh, that's so good. Right, and then you want to switch hands. So you've all got a stick in your right hand. Okay, I don't have enough rocks to go around, so I guess this will do for now. Because we know this can actually still, like, fight any of the animals and predators that we come across. But once I have, like, a collection of rocks, maybe? I don't think. Yeah, I've got, like, four or five at tops. I've got a chopper over there. Yeah, there's still too many of us. Okay, that's amazing that I can do that now, or at least we know how to do that. So we can actually go venturing out. The problem is, <laughs> look at them. They're all beaten up and tired and stuff. It's the food, I think, that's going to be a problem. And there's no fishing areas in this, like, uh, little pond or anything. Yeah, no, it's just a drinking spot. All right, I'm going to try and make sure everyone's doing okay before we set off, and I'll be back with you guys in a couple of minutes. What? Oh, the intimidating one? Wait, what's just... What's just happened? I think someone's just take... What? What did I miss? No! Where is it? I've, I heard the, um... The fight animation sound. Oh, wait, is it you? Wait, it is you! You took down a pig? Oh, yes! Okay, that's what I wanted. Oh, that's so good. Okay, right, right, right. So what I want to do then is drop that and then pick up this. And then I want to order the mimic. Come on, everybody do it. Ignore the horses. Come on, pick it up. There you go. Right, drop that. Pick this up. Get him! No! No! He just ran through everyone! Oh, you... I'll take care of him. There it is. Piggy down. I lost my stick, but that's worth it. Did you see the pig, like, run through three or four of us? Oh, we're all celebrating. Nice. Right, where's my chopper? Okay, this is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I thought coming over here and then, like... Picking this up. And then mimic. Because they're all responding to... What's in the area? There's something else here. Is it the horse? <laughs> and then applying this. But it doesn't look like they want to do that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure why. Unless they are doing it and it's just not showing. Let me just do this again. Come on. Everybody focus up. Come on. And then... 
Grab another one of these. Mimic. And then apply. Maybe, maybe they've done it. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they've done it. Right, you guys going to go and eat something? There we go. Okay, right. Have you fill? Because we got quite a lot of bushes here. There should be plenty to go around. That poor ape over there is not going to get anything. And you guys, yeah, you need to go and find food. Whoa. <laughs> Listen to them talking. Or attempting to. Alright, maybe they're doing a little bit better now. Let's see, there's a couple of them here, though, that still don't look right. Maybe that's just a thing that we're going to see throughout because I can't please everyone. So, let me try and do it again. Yeah, maybe that's just the way to do it. Drop that. Just keep eating. Yeah, that one's coming over here. Oh, let the old one get some food, please. There you go. Okay, everyone's at least had something. All of this is going to be trial and error. I'm going to be making a lot of mistakes, but we'll get this down. We'll eventually get it down. I think now I'm understanding how it works. It's based off your last action, the mimic. So if I swap hands like this and then I order that mimic, they'll do the same thing. I thought it was before. So in some cases it might be. I guess, again, like I keep saying, it's going to be trial and error, but it's the only way we're going to learn by getting things wrong. Right, come over this side, everyone. I'm going to drop my stick, drop my chopper right there, and drink, order mimic, and then drink. Do we do this? I think we may have done it. Because that way, when they get the water up in them, it'll give them the protection from the heat, right? Everybody drink. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right, so because they wouldn't pick up their weapons, we've got brand new branches. So, switch hands. Order the mimic. And then alter. Oh, wait, no, they don't have this in their hand. No, drop that. And then alter. Change that, and then do the same. Nice. And then I want to swap hands. Right, perfect. So you guys are golden now. So I can pick this back up and then swap my hands over. Right, we're moving. I've given you a little break and I've taught you how to actually get yourself a weapon. So you shouldn't need any more help with that. If there's any food, we'll definitely stop off, but we're going to keep it moving. I'm going to try and get over to one of those meteorites. My whole goal today is just to understand how the mimics work. And I'm, I'm kind of getting there, but it seems a little bit weird. My biggest frustration right now <laughs> is the fact that some of them are walking, you know, like they're just bundling over like, oh, like there's something wrong with us. And I can't work out what it is because I'm giving them water. I'm trying to feed them whenever I can. We had plenty of rest, so it shouldn't be any of those three things. This is going to be, uh, <laughs> this is going to be the test. Try to get down from here. Probably going to lose a whole bunch of members, but we're doing it right. Follow me. Come on. I've seen them drop down from heights, so... Shouldn't be too much of an ask. Ooh, that is quite a way though, isn't it? Ooh, okay. Well, we gotta learn one way or another. Right. Come on! Okay, some are already down. I have no doubt that some of them will just leap off the end of that and be absolutely fine. Right, that's the direction we gotta head in. Just gonna keep it moving. I didn't do a head count or anything like that. We're not concerned. Right, let me grab this. I'm not going to order the Mimic for this because I really don't know if this works, but this was the thing that came to mind. Really? We're tired already? What? Okay, right. Strip that. Got the little stick. I guess we're just going to have to take short breaks here and there. Oh, this is a feeding ground for a cat. All right, good job you guys have all got sticks. Can I use... Oh, dip! There you go! Yeah, so... Oh, I could order the Mimic for that as well. Inspect. Look at that. All the little termites on the stick. Nice. Harvester termites. So that's what they are. They're harvester termites. And then eat. Are they good? Oh, they're really good. Give me more of them. <laughs> Acted on a termite man with the right tool at least twice. I'm going to keep going with that. So I can tell these guys to do this. But... I don't think I'm going to. They don't deserve it. 
They're all, like, shoulders all hunched over, acting all moody and stuff, even though I'm taking them out on an adventure. Super ungrateful, so <laughs> not, not teaching them that special skill. Right, where is... Oh, there's hippos there. Oh, do I get my... No, 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 no. That's just asking for trouble. Let's go over this way and try and get around to that first meteorite crash. Come on. Everyone over this way. Right, there we go. Okay, we discovered a new landmark. I did go ahead and just end up sleeping because honestly, like trying to get them to make a bed, I don't think you can do that right now. There was a way that I could mimic and just ask them to rest. But even trying to do it step by step, they're really struggling right now because of the heat. So I kind of need to find water, which might be up this way. But yeah, trying to get them to do like specific tasks on their own, I don't think they'll do that. It has to be something that I'm showing them. Which, again, makes total sense, but honestly, sometimes it's like, why are you not doing that when we've done it 20 times already? The biggest thing right now is they will not actually pick their sticks back up, and I don't know why. I don't know if that's something I've got to unlock. Oh, hyenas. Come on, guys. Come over this way. Oh, no. They might be picking up on the scent. Oh, crap. Okay, come on. Get over to the watering hole, please. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we made the hyenas go after the gazelle. Oh, it's just like watching a wildlife program. Look at that. It's over for that gazelle. Come on. Wait, there is one of us that's in, tru in trouble here. What? Wait, what is, <laughs> what is going down? The hyenas are taking everything out. No, you don't. No, you don't. Try attacking my family member. It's not on my watch. Right, we have them literally right next to us, though. So we kind of got to go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's good. It's good, but it might not be for a minute. Come on. Over this way. And we've just got to hope that there's no crocodiles in that water over there. Actually, you know. Oh, come on. You guys have got to do something. Oh, he's going to get wrapped up. I can see it already. The one at the back. The elder. No. Come on. I'm going to have to eat. Drop that. Yep, there it is. One of them has been taken. Let him go. Make no mistake, guys. This is difficult. Like, having to make sure you're... Whoa. Is it you? <laughs> like, what are you doing, Gazelle? Oh, wait. Hopefully the snake... Yes! I'm slowly annihilating the gazelle population here by forcing them into all the predators, but I'm, I'm totally fine with that. As long as they stay away from my, uh, my group. Wait. You got... You do. What are you doing? I think I smacked the snake then. I don't... I don't have a weapon in hand. Right, give me that. And I'm just gonna... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's over for you. Yeah, there's no way you're... Yeah, that's... Oh, that's so... That is so cold the way it does that. Right, we got rid of the threat. Come on. Is everybody stressed? Is everybody all broken and busted up? Because I know I am. Right, let's have a drink. Come on. Everybody drink. Come on. Alter, and then... There we go. And then pick you up. And then now can I... Oh, don't fall asleep. And now can I grind it? Oh, there we go. Grinding. A granite grinder can modify horsetail leaves. Oh, this is what you guys told me about. Okay, nice. Oh, that might have just saved this ape. So... Oh, the mimic. I may as well do it in case any of them saw what I did there. But I don't think that's the way it's going to work. Let me switch to this one and then inspect it. So this is the paste that I've just grinded down from the horsetail. I don't know how I just remembered that, by the way, because I usually forget stuff like that. Then, then, let's go apply. Please heal the wounds. Because that was a broken bones if I don't grind the paste. Oh, yes! Okay, nice. Of course we're saving Yak. You guys should already know. I'm not even going to say it. If you don't know who Yak is, go back and watch a couple of episodes. He's the greatest. Right, pick you up. And then this should be the last time that we uh, we have to do this. Actually, just drop that and then switch hands. And then... Oh, I've got another snake in the area. Oh, it's the Mamba. 
Is that going to heal us up? Nice. Right, drop that. I should probably get one of them just to hold on to that because finding the granite rocks, I'm struggling a little bit with now. Come on, Yak, you got this. There it is. Oh, of course. Why did I ever doubt that I wouldn't take this thing out? First time, no problems. Right. I'm actually going to keep Yak in charge of the group for a minute. Whoa. A sound. I basically made this area the new settlement just so everybody could get relaxed and stuff. And obviously, I could get those things in the top right corner there, the uh, genetic mutations. But after I came out of that, it said clan member dead. Now, I've not checked it yet, but if one of these clan members is Yak, I'm going to be heartbroken, okay? It's my favorite so far. Okay, we've got three genetic mutations, and they're all really good ones as well. We're going to get a fourth. I think that should be it. Oh, we do have a fourth. Oh, dexterity. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. We get a lot of them locked in now. So, oh, wait, there's a fifth. Ambulation as well. So that would have been because not only we got the normal genetic mutations, but we also got the meteorites as well. So it's now time to see. <laughs> okay, Kag. It's not that I don't feel bad for Kag, but if any of these is Yak. No! No, there he is. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Is everybody as caught up as... Oh, look at all these that are dead as well. Honestly, don't care for any of these. Who are you? D or Day. D. <laughs> Everyone's named the same. And then Yud. Oh, I'm heartbroken. This grave must be kept a sacred place, okay? He was the first one of any of us to walk upright. All right, I am going to do an evolution because I want to see how far this skips us ahead. I think I went one further than I normally do on a generational side. So we might go a little bit further, but I'm not too worried about it. Let's just see. Okay, 790,000 isn't bad going, considering I did go like one ahead. And how did that affect us, like losing one of the uh, the babies then? So feet years. Okay, 790,000 is what we're ahead of science on. And the evolution leap so far is 76,000 years. Okay, that's not bad at all. Yeah, the two deaths. Yep. 50,000 years removed. Six births. 30,000 years. Six births, two deaths, which gives us 770,000 years faster than science. The evolution leap so far is 56, nearly 57,000 years. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad going at all. And there we go. We've got a new change. Oh! <gasps> So this is like an actual evolutionary change. Through the passage of time, you've progressed to become what is known as the... Oh my god! Ardi Ardipithecus Ramidus, also known as Ardi. Ard Ardipithecus? Ardipithecus. I think that's how you say it. You have moved through time to 5,470,264 years before now and will be brought back to the world to catch up with your lineage. Okay, let's see how these guys look then. Oh, these guys can store more dopamine. Look at that. There is no way we get a physical evolutionary change. Look how different they look now. They're so much more slender. They don't feel like anywhere near as bulky as well. And not only that, we got that physical change, but look where we are. The elephants are literally our neighbors now. We're right next to, and I'm going to say it right, the baobab tree. I know I was saying it wrong, guys. I really struggle with that word I always have, but it is pronounced the baobab tree. And this is such a sick little area. We've got like the water supply, we've got plenty of food. And just over in this direction as well. Yeah, that's where we've not been yet. Look at all that. There's so much more to explore. That looks horrific in that direction. Like, I don't know what is that way. Yeah, we, we definitely need to find out. <laughs> that sound. Alter and do the same. You gonna do it? Yeah, you are. Right, then you want to swap your hands over to this side. Stop doing that. Switch hands and then apply. I think they'll be able to do this. I hope they'll be able to do this because if they do, they get obviously the buff from the aloe. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, so at least I know that they can do that. And even if it's a little bit of protection, it's protection nonetheless. Because... While I was out with the others, they kept doing that thing where they're pointing up at the sky, and no matter how much that I told them to drink, it just didn't seem to really help. I want to see what you're doing. Oh, listen to it. So, so cool. I definitely did see rhinos in this area, by the way. I know I was uh, I was a little bit confused with that in the previous episode, but I definitely, definitely saw rhinos in the same area as the elephants. Oh, wait. There we go. There's one over here. I'm actually going to tangle with the rhino. I know that sounds stupid, and it more than likely is going to be, but I really want to know if there's any kind of chance if it's like the hippo. I've got the sharp stick, so we'll see how it works out. New wildlife discovered. Rhinos. Oh, we took it down. Wait, what? Oh, I kind of feel bad now. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it's great that we can do that. But I feel horrible. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I guess we should inspect it. There we go. New gathering spot. Rhinoceros carcass. And, oh, okay, 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 no! No! See, that's actually really, really cool because elephants will do that, right? If they see something, like, going down in an area where they're just chilling, they'll be like, no, listen, look, you don't do that in this area where we are. You are not in control of this situation, stupid little thing. We could flatten you whenever we wanted to. We're just choosing not to. Understand the rules. And I'm trying to, but I want to know if I can eat this rhino. Okay, it's important. I need to need to find out what it has. Oh, please don't get mad. I'm just grubbing out. It's delicious. I'm eating like a little bit of rhino thigh or something like that. I deserve this. Assimilated nutrients from the mammal kind of food. Okay, we should be good with that as well because we locked all of that in. So yeah, we shouldn't really get affected by eating this stuff now. Which is another big positive. Okay, so we got the rhino. I feel so bad. I really do. I feel so, so bad. But survival. Got to take my chances where I can get them. And we are a lot faster as well. Being a lot more agile, skinnier. Nowhere near as bulky or something like that. Maybe that's taking a, uh, an effect now. Now, before we actually end today, the only real goal that I wanted to achieve was understanding the mimic, which... Ooh, they're getting close. Which I feel like I have... I've not got it down completely yet. The one thing that I will need help from you guys is the sleep thing. Because I can get everybody to eat somewhat, and I can get everybody to drink, again, somewhat, but the sleep is the problem. And if you guys know an easier way for me just to get everybody to rest, and I've tried just lying down in the middle of the floor or making the beds, and it didn't work. Do I try it? Oh, I'm going to try it. Oh! Oh, no way have I just, I've single-handedly just taken down an elephant. And there's a cat behind me as well. No, that's not a cat. That's a hyena, isn't it? No, it's the jackal. Oh, there's more than one of them. All right, we got to go. Run, 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 run. Let's get up this tree. Climb, climb, climb. There is no way I took down... Oh, no. And then look, the other elephant's going... I feel so horrible doing this. I'm not doing it anymore. As long as... We Whoa! No way those little jackals can take down the snakes. Yeah, so I guess hunting in packs is, is really... Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. No. Oh, oh I said it before about it's survival. I don't care. I'm a bad person. <laughs> oh, no. A poor little elephant. He's just looking at me like, oh, you bitch. You killed my friend. I know. I'm sorry. Please. I didn't mean it. I just needed to know. And now I know. So the elephant should stay away. <laughs> oh, no. I feel terrible. I love them as well. Right. I think I need to know what is down in that direction. 
And we can actually swing better too, right? So, oh yeah, everything just feels a lot more fluid now. We're good. Let's keep moving. All right, what we got? Whoa, is that the ocean? Oh, it is. So a massive body of water over there. If that's No, no that's definitely the ocean. Got a couple of jackals here. Oh, this is actually quite a terrifying area because there's not a lot of cover for us if we do move through as a group. You know, like I was joking about in the uh, other episodes. Okay, you guys want some of this? All right, let's go. You gotta learn. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, there we go. They ran away. I thought I would have to deal with the second one for a second there, but no, it did leave. There we go. There's the second one. But yeah, you know, like I was joking to you guys about everything the light touches. <laughs> this is like that area. Way, way, way out here. Just to give you guys some kind of idea. It was all the way back there to that horizon that you can see and even further back. That's where we started. And I'm still not done with Savannah yet. There's so many areas that I need to discover. I mean, look at these places. They're everywhere. But yeah, a good experimentation today, working out how the mimics work. Still not got that down, but I'm sure with your guys' help and a little bit more practice, I'll be able to move through this entire terrain with my group flawlessly. In time, anyway. Nothing's going to be perfect first go, but in time. We've done a little bit of an evolution, and we got those physical changes as well. I really like the look of this guy now. He looks amazing. We got more babies, so we've expanded our clan members. We've moved over to the Baobab tree, which I wanted to do anyway even though it was short-lived over by the uh, the two siblings fall. What's that over there? Oh, hello, that's a snake. Didn't mean you. There's like something over in the, in the corner over there. I think that's a place that we've been to though. And obviously we've discovered a new area on the horizon. Are you actually coming back in for seconds? It's your friend this time. All right, you're gonna get the chopper. Right on the head. That's your warning. Don't do it again. Oh! Well. Told you not to do it. It's over for you. Silly jackal. Maybe your friend's gonna learn. Alright. Just to scare anything out of this area, you know what's gonna happen. So I think this is where we're gonna end things then. Really interesting to try to learn how the mimics work. If you do have any hints or tips that I can use with that kind of stuff, please let me know down in the comments. But for now... This is where we're going to end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.